Hello, my name is Ambrose. I'm on a bushwalk and I found this male brown trapdoor spider. Here it is. The males usually leave their burrow and go roaming for females in autumn and winter. And it is winter here, so this is why I found him. And they're native to Australia. As you can see, he's quite timid but people mistake him as a funnel web. And it's petty palps, those feelers which are all fat, it uses that to sense its way around and when it's mating. As you can see he, he's tapping his feelers, it means he's looking for a mate. Also, I've seen this kind of behaviour in other spiders too. Now, for two to three years, the male, he lives in a burrow, which he never leaves. Same with the female. But she lives in her burrow for her whole life, never leaves. But after the male's an adult, it will go out of its burrow, abandon it, and will not eat, because it will go searching for a female to mate with. And when it finds a hole, it will gently tap on her burrow entrance, and the female will hopefully come out, and they will mate. Great baby. But he can mate a few times. But after the male mates, he dies. Then the life cycle starts again. When the female makes her egg sac, she keeps it with her in her burrow. And when the spiderlings hatch out of it, she will look after them for about seven months. And then they go out and make their own tiny burrow. And the funny thing about this type of trapdoor is that it doesn't actually make a trapdoor on its nest, which is very strange, because its name is a trapdoor spider. Their burrows are 250 millimetres long, which is almost the length of a ruler. And their burrows are about 25 millimetres wide, and they line their burrows with their silk. There's this brown trapdoor spider burrow here. Let's go take a look at it. I don't know if you can see the silk in the burrow or not, but it is definitely on the outside. Now, they are timid, they are not aggressive, but if they're feeling threatened, they could rear up and show their fangs, like funnel webs and tarantulas. And it mostly preys upon crickets, cockroaches, beetles, moths, grasshoppers, sladers, and other spiders. The things which prey on it are bandicoots, birds, centipedes, parasitic wasps, and scorpions. Here's a good shot of his spinnerets, which he would use to line his burrow with silk. So, I better say goodbye, so thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Subscribe so you can join me on our next adventure.